Yeah, honestly, things have completely turned around at this job. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you remember my old college roommate, Rob? Yeah, get this, they hired him to be my assistant so he can focus on making all these dumb videos for teenagers about you know your girl cheating on you or whatever. And I can focus on making stuff that I'm like passionate about, you know? Uh, like I have this one video, I, I can't tell you too much, but I'm about to go in and pitch it and, and it's gonna be amazing. All right. Kaylee, yeah, I don't know if you remember me mentioning this a while back, but it's always kind of been a dream of mine to create a video that takes place in the alternate reality known as steampunk. And, uh, wait, Rob, what are you doing in here? I, I thought you were supposed to be out working on that video about uh, sliding into the DMs. Oh, we are actually, we were just researching what happens when you slide into your boss's DMs, so. Uh, uh, anyway, we're talking about punk again. Tony, I thought I was perfectly clear. No videos about the 90s. Uh, no, 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 this is steampunk. And uh, uh, you know what? I I'm sorry, is, is, this a, is this a bad time? I, I can come back. No, no, you can, it, it's totally fine. Okay. It's a, yeah, yeah, please. I, it's just, I think I'd rather just do my pitch for Kaylee, uh, if you don't mind. Actually, it's Kylie yeah. now. Uh, and Rob will be handling all pitches from now on. I promoted him to yeah. Vice President of Brand Creative. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was gonna be my assistant. Was, is the operative word. He is now your boss. And BT dubs, I'm literally going to die. She's always dying. If I don't get a turmeric latte, so. Can you handle the pitch, boo? I can handle uh -huh. it, Bobo. Bobo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do not watch me walk away. Don't Do look, not. Don't look, don't look. God, she caught me looking one time. So bad. Oh, what, boo? Boo boo? Oh yeah, boo boo. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, boo boo. It's kind of like a shorthand for uh, uh, VP of the brand uh, media thing. She said. So yeah. But uh, so uh, I hear a pitch is afoot. So uh, bring forward. Uh, are you gonna put your shirt on? <laughs> Quite honestly, uh, if you knew what kind of random fluids have been wiped up with that shirt, if I put that on, you'd be like, please take it off. So anyways, the pitch, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if I may. Yeah, I want to do a video about steampunk. Uh, awesome town. Yeah, I mean, what, what is that? Some kind of ska punk thing or? No, no, no. It's a kind of science fiction that takes place in the past. Uh, what? Yes, of course. Hashtag approved. God, yeah. Are you sure that uh, Kaylee's gonna be okay with it? Kylo. I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem with Kylo. You know what? In fact, speaking of which, Kylo Babo. Yeah, Bobo. Oh, I miss you, Bubba Bobo. Yeah. Well, you're either, can you give me a Diet Ducky Peppy? Diet Dr. Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper. I was trying to be fun zone with it. <laughs> you know. Okay, bye bye. Okay, good talking to you. Bye bye. Yeah, she, you know, she has this disease where she thinks she's talking on the phone. Steam punk. It's got the edge of punk with the extra edge of steam. Yep. The steampunk picnic. As if picnics couldn't get any more badass. These people are doing it with gears on their hats. Oh my god, the guy has invented a steampunk arm that can pick up a wine glass. And uh, if you guys know anything about picking up a wine glass, it's impossible to do with a, a standard hand. Well, it's a lot of very heavy corsets. It must be a lot of breast sweat after these steampunk events. It's a lot of leather and metal clothing, which it, it does not breathe, I know I've tried to wear metal uh, undergarments to uh, preserve my chastity. Steampunk World's Fair. Thank God, you know, we've kind of stopped doing these World's Fairs that kind of promote peace and technological advancement and we're finally doing World's Fairs that promote something that's actually useful. We are getting excited for Snowdown 2015, which just so happens to be steampunk. Ooh, steampunk fashion tips. You know what, honestly, I, I don't dress that great. I'm wearing a lot of old t-shirts and stuff. Maybe I need some fashion tips from the experts. Big sellers are the goggles like this with the wings, uh, top hats. We have lots of top hats. What I'm gathering, uh, the number one fashion tip is uh, wear a top hat. A lot of the real costume I'm going to wear, I can't get into by myself. <laughs> well, 
They, these women look great. They look to range in age from low 50s to high 50s, and I'm sure their kids are going, man, thank God I don't have one of these weird moms. If you're looking to go to the thrift store, don't. They're picked clean. Wow, Kylie's the best boss ever, and you know what, Rob? If you're gonna approve stuff like this, uh, I think I'm gonna love working for you too. Yo, bro, you wanna go to the club? No, I wanna go to the... 1800. I gotta get out of here. Why don't you ever text me after we hook up? Sorry, my phone's out of cold. Hello, room service. Uh, I'd, I'd like to order some. <laughs> What's going on in there? I'm doing a cos cosplay of steampunk. Steamed what? It's, a, it's like if the olden times they had computers. Science it was, fiction. It's not science fiction, it's, it's alternate re reality. Uh -huh.